वीडियो शुरू होने से पहले अगर आपने हमारी चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो वीडियो के नीचे दिए गए लाल बटन को दबा के सब्सक्राइब करें और साथ में बेल आइकन को भी दबाएं ताकि आपको हमारी वीडियो का नोटिफिकेशन सबसे पहले मिले Australia. The points table and the divisions in this World Championship of Cricket Group A consists of Australia who have 2 points from the one match played so far and completed, England no points and India and Pakistan playing today. Then in Group B, West Indies, New Zealand for India, they have uh, Sivarama Krishnan, the leg spinner in the side and everyone's looking forward to seeing him bowl. He's a young man who bowled so well against England in the recent test series. and a strong batting line up there and they have their full complement of pace bowlers as well they have Kapil Dev Roger Binney Madan Lal and Mahinda Amanath Pakistan have Imran Khan and then there is Mohsen Khan and Kazim Omar to open the innings Zahir Abbas and uh, Javed Mehndad the skipper who has been batting in very good form just recently for well, Pakistan skipper Javed Mehndad won the toss and decided to bat. The pitch looked good. Tony Gregg gave it a good report, nice and hard and looked as though it'd be pacey, just a little bit of life for the quick bowlers. We pick up play now in the very first over. Kapil Dev is bowling to Mohsen Khan and your commentators Bill Laurie and Frank Tyson. Fine shot. Beats point. Knows enough to mark for two. Roger Binney bowls to Omar, his first delivery. Gets off the mark quickly. Busy little player, Omar. And cemented his place at number three in a very good batting lineup. This one out the name of the keeper today. This one out we remember an accomplished battleship of a batsman. But uh, there's another this one out. Gloves off. Roger Binney. Dropped him. A regulation catch. This one after drop, diving in front of Gavaskar at first slip, put down a straightforward catch. Well, no sooner do we mention the name of this one after than he doesn't produce the form that we expect of a man bearing his name. As most in place at that, and it was high and wide to Vishwanath's right, but really Vishwanath not making enough. Uh, Enough room over there to be offside. It's going straight to first slip. Marysen on strike to Roger Binney. No ball called. Could have been a touch too. I think he got an outside edge. This one up, not putting this one down, but no ball called early. Quite a loud noise there, and quite a wide deflection, but it doesn't count. Gone this time, yes, they break through. Well bowled, Roger Binney. This one now taking the catch, and a good start by the medium pacer. Well, the third time lucky for Vishwanath. The first time he put down Kazim, the second time he caught Mosin off a no ball, and the third time. Mosin gets the edge. Large deflection and Vishwanath taking that ball in both hands, making no mistake with that, right in front of his chest. And Roger Binney strikes. A good wicket that, one for eight, and Mosin Khan out for three. He's played almost the same number of matches as I hear. 56 matches he's played in all in the one-day competitions. He's averaging 26 with the bat. Well placed, well field to throw at the stumps. Kazim down, the helmet off. A little bit shaken too, hit the ground pretty hard. A lively fielding side, this Indian side. Over a good fieldsman, but Azradin this time it is, who comes in to fling that ball at the stumps and uh, Down goes Kazimoma. 
Dev is no wicket for seven in the four overs he's completed. And Roger Binney is the man who's taken the wicket and he's only conceded four runs. And so the Indians would be pretty happy with the way they've started in this World Championship of Cricket. Well, that's hit away beautifully through the gap on the offside. Kasim Omar finding the gap there and that ball running away over the top of this very quick outfield. It's the first boundary of the day. Good afternoon, Keith. Good afternoon, Tony. And that first boundary, a long time coming for the Pakistani. One of the stalwarts of the Pakistan side. And uh, he's, of course, a very, very experienced player. He's played in 57 one-day matches and scored over 2,000 runs, 2,447 in fact, 700s, 1250s, with an average of 48.9, so just under 50. Oh, and he loves them in that area. Ever since the day he first arrived on the test scene, he's played that cut shot magnificently. That's his first boundary. These first 15 overs, so important to get that scoreboard moving. Oh, and that misfield. Kapil there fielding it back with square leg there, conceding an extra two or three runs Mahinda. Mahinda. And certainly Roger Binney not too happy. And it's one for 24. It looks as if this is going to be the first change in the attack. Madden Lowell is replacing Kapil Dev. Dev's figures now we get for 12. Well, that's a nice placement again. Tussie Momar on that occasion, timing it just a little better. And as a result, rather than one, they collect two. Mohinda Amanath, the medium pacer, good batsman, very good competitor. Let's play the way on the leg side again. Kasim Omar beginning to play quite well on that side of the wicket. And Mohinda, very casual approach he has to the wicket. That's in the air and over the top of the man at extra cover. That ball again running away very quickly down to the boundary. And Azra Dean not able to cut it off. Umpire McConnell signalling the four. The third boundary of this Pakistani innings. Strange tactics by the Pakistanis. Very few risks in the first 15 overs when all the field was in. And now suddenly we're into the 16th going over the top of cover. And Sipa Ramakrishnan has not played before in a limited overs international. Be a new experience for him. Sipa Ramakrishnan has a nice action. Just those first couple of balls indicate the easy action, nice and high. Fine shot, Kazim Omar, very strong on the sweep. And Pakistan really must move along now. We're in the 20th over and there are only 50. It'll be interesting to see whether Gavaskar brings his man uh, on the sweep shot in about 15 yards because Kazim does hit the ball in the air there. One for 56, it's uh, Sivarama Krishnan to bowl leg spin from the member's end. Not into Kazim Omar. And there it is in the air, as Ian Chubble predicted, but just wide of the man at deep square. Well, the spot uh, Ian was talking about, having that man placed, was just on the edge of the practice pitches.
and at the 24 over stage the tactics of Pakistan are strange the, they have nine wickets in hand but certainly they're not making no great effort to push up the run rate with the leg spinner and orthodox spinner operating and they're looking for two and getting it this time they're going to throw a lot of pressure on their well order batsman certainly is uh, here a bass is a great player and Kazim a fine stroke player but they're occupying the overs 24 Almost a caught and bowled, got a bit of a leading edge, and uh, Kazim's uh, threatening to uh, knock the young leggy out with a bat. Bit of five play, enjoys his cricket, big smile, big eyes, personality. I think they both enjoy it out there, Bill. Kazim certainly a great favourite, trying to issue the last rights to the leg spinner. Got him, yes! The young lad picks up the vital wicket of. Zahir Abbas, it was a full pitch, he knocked it up and took the return catch on the second grab. Good luck to the young lady, keeps the ball up and he's broken through for his first wicket in Australia. Rama Krishnan's first wicket in Australia, full toss. Zahir, return catch, up in the air, stayed up there long enough just to regain control of it and a pretty happy Siva Rama Krishnan, as was Sonny Gavaskar as he came in because Zahir Abbas, the real threat to the Pakistan, to the Indians and now Pakistan in the 24th over, 273. Javed, me and Dad, the Pakistan captain coming to the crease and I'll guarantee one thing that the running between the wickets will improve. Javed, an excellent runner, a great batsman. Shastri coming around the wicket, left arm orthodox spin. have been the order of the day so far for the Pakistanis and Irving Rosenwater as alert as ever just informed us that that two then that's the first score above a single in the last five overs Sweeps but he gets away with it gets it square and picks up two for his 50 going back to the third the throw is not good good running Zemo uh, brings up the first 50, 94 deliveries. Excellent running there by Javid Mandad, forcing Kazim Omar through for that third run. With Javid, who was going down to the danger end, and a very good half century by young Kazim. In the air, falls just short of mid-off. Ricochets off Keppel's leg for two. Just a little on the short side from Shastri. Hit in the air, but difficult bounce there for Keppel. Dev did well to, in fact, get the legs behind it. Showed a lot of courage there. It's well struck. Missfield at Capital Dev has been a bit sloppy today. That's the second time the ball's got through him. Just 3.16. Plenty of batting depth left, but the overs are ticking by very quickly. Out. Good boy. Good boy. Well caught, kept the ball up, hit pretty hard, the young man gets his second wicket. Both caught and bowled. Sivarana Krishnam, delivery just short of a length for Kazim, he wasn't quite to the pitch of the ball, trying to hit him straight down the ground and straight back into the midriff of the leg spin. And Kazim a little disappointed in himself then, done a lot of hard work, he's picked up a half century just when he should have gone on with it giving a return catch to the leg spinner. So Pakistan in real trouble here, 30 second over, three for 98. Remy's Raja on his first tour of Australia. Ravi Shastri. 
uh, in point of fact, that one slipping away through the slip area with the left arm spinner down towards deep third man, and they'll collect themselves three. Three point one one. They're up to now. They've been down below two for much of the time. They're down below three. Two point seven. Two point eight. Ramesh Raja. Roger Binney comes back on. Roger Binney rolled a very tidy spell with uh, Kapil Dev in the initial stages. They both completed five overs there and uh, also conceded 12 runs apiece. There's a man at long on. They'll get at least two for this. those two economical spells in the initial stages I have a feeling won't be quite so economical at this stage of the game. The Pakistani captain Javed Miandad is clearly getting a little bit toey out there about uh, the state of affairs. 3.13 at the moment. I'd need to push it up to five to score the sort of total that uh, the conditions here seem to suggest will uh, make a match of this. Krishnan is in the game again. Straightforward catch there. And Javed me and Dad goes. That's the result of pressure. And India are doing very well out there. Yes, this is not a very good shot. Uh, Javed really should have tried to hit that over the field or kept down. And uh, once again, Shiva Ramakrishnan in the action there, taking a very straightforward catch. And Roger Bidi picking up his seven, second wicket. And Pakistan now in a fair bit of trouble. Four for 119. Imran Khan takes uh, the place of the present Pakistan captain, Javed Meandad. I think just flicking the fingers there of Ravi Shastri. If it did, it only just did. Safe, down to third man, outside edge. Well run. way over square and there's a chance of three there if they really hustle four for one and thirty tidy performance from roger binney picking up two wickets gavaskar has handled things particularly well and there's been some brilliant fielding from the indians and most importantly, uh, Frank, there's been a tremendous spirit about their work. It certainly has. I've been most impressed with what I've seen, including that stroke from Ramiz. He looks a good player, this Ramiz. And that's well placed. Shot by Imran. Took very careful note of where the fieldsman had been pushed back. That's the first boundary for 20 overs, so Gavaskar really has had control over this game. And the 
digital computer shows that uh, Capital Dev has got five overs to go. Probably won't get them in. In fact, he can't get them in. He can only bowl another four. There's eight overs remaining, including this over. India having used six bowlers. And gone. Well caught there by Ravi Shastri. There's no fine leg. And Ramiz Raja had picked up that fact. Was trying to uh, work the ball down there. But a very tall man at short fine leg. Ravi Shastri has taken the catch. Yes, it's a good job Siva wasn't down there because uh, Shastri really towers over the small leg spinner and it looked also simple. And that's probably one of the best marks we've seen there since the end of the football season. So, Ramiz Raja out for 29 and Pakistan 5 for 144. This has been a very good over from Kepal Dev. Just one run from it. And just clearing Shastri's head on this occasion. The attempted hook from Imran. And a good save by the left arm spinner. Really is some very fighting cricket. Desperate cricket from India. 5 for 148 after 43 overs. Kapil Dev to Imran Khan. in the air this should be taken and it is so Madden Lyle taking a very simple catch and success there for Keppel Dev over one of his rival all-rounders Imran Khan well really Imran Khan had no choice whatsoever the time has come for all good men to come to the aid of the side and uh, Imran really had to get on with it but it's not so easy to force Keppel Dev be looking for two here it's well placed by Medasa. Just pushing it carefully into the gap so as he would be able to get back for the second. That's safe. But Keppel Deb is a third man. Want a good return and he's on the way. By Joe Keppel is having a brilliant match. Just got rid of uh, Imran. And a fantastic return from the outfield. Just crashed in the middle stump. And now Madassa is on the way. And this is quite characteristic of the Indian performance in the field today. A low throw, quick throw. It's back at the wicket in a flash. And it clips the top of the middle stump. And Vishwanath looks around to umpire Peter McConnell. Rashid going back. It's Mahinda. And he's taken it. Good catch. Mahinda Armanath had a bit of ground to cover. But he did it well out there at uh, wide, long on. And what spirit and confidence this Indian side is showing in the field. And obviously very happy. As uh, the big hit goes up there and there was no option. You had to go for the big hit this stage of the company. That was the duck back to the pavilion. And it's eight gone down the ground it's high in the air it doesn't look as if it's going to get caught i think it's three men converging on it down there but uh, safely home the pakistanis that was hit miles up time for three of them to gather around but none of them to get a hand to it well that's gone straight up in the air and capital i think is underneath it he won't make a mistake with this one no he doesn't and so time for 183 to Rashid Khan. So he's hit that in the air. This is going to be out too. Yes, well taken. Shastri doesn't make mistakes with catches, it doesn't seem. So that one hit straight down his throat and he took it beautifully. And what a magnificent performance by India bowing out Pakistan in the 50th over and Shastri took a well judged catch. That was well. Just wide of the man in the gully. Ravi Shastri off the mark and coming back for the second. Forward edge and taken at first slip by Javed. Some bounce there for Imran Khan and the early success that Pakistan needed. India one for two. Just wide. This time he could be gone. Javed. He doesn't miss many. Good. 
fact, it's not. It's Mosin in the first set. So the first and second slips have taken catches. That was a valuable one, a good piece of bowling. And two for 27, India. And she count up with 12. Best of the Indian batsmen. Comes in at number four and a, at a crucial stage of this match. It's the edge, she's gone! Yes, a beautiful catch! Diving forward, beautifully judged by Madassarat Gully. What a fine piece of bowling from Imran. And the first one have backed him up. So he marks the scene, having faced just one ball. The golden duck, three for 27. Couldn't believe it. Huge appeal there for court behind. Gavaskar not impressed with the proceedings, has a little glance up towards the heavens. <laughs> that may tell a story. Let's have another look. Well, there was a very faint little noise of some sort and uh, a pleading inquiry, and then total disbelief. And Sunil Gavaskar is just starting to flow. Seven from the over, three, four, sixty-two. And there's the fifty for Azaruddin. So continuing the great form that he showed on the subcontinent. Coming off just 79 balls, that fifty. It's three for 105. Hotel situated. Problems getting their line right bowling route today. Could be close if he hits. There's a big appeal. Back foot, plenty of time. Smashed away through mid wicket. A little pat on the back there from Gavaskari's captain. And that's the third four to uh, Harudin. And the Indian spectators are absolutely delighted. I wonder there could be a collision. Hazard Dean doing the right thing by Mudassa there. It's being too. The Indian flag again being waved from various vantage points around the ground. Chance for as far as I can recall. <laughs> Big appeal for LBW and he's given him out. Well, our Perth viewers have joined us just in time to see the end of what has turned out to be a very useful partnership for the Indians. And their captain, Sunil Gavaskar, out LBW, having been involved in a 132-run partnership. For the fourth wicket, he's out LBW to Madassa for 54. And on a previous occasion, we saw Gavaskar almost out Akram. Came back into him. It was perhaps a little bit high this time. Oh, beautifully played. Oh, and off driving through extra cover there. A little cheer from uh, Azaruddin down the other end. Wasim Akram to Mohammad Azruddin. He's got hold of that one. He had two tries, and this one he got right in the middle. The young man walking for four. He's running quickly between the wickets. We come back. He walks, he's going to test out the arm, and he moves on into the 90s. What a great debut. The big Melbourne cricket ground has ridden on 90 out of 178. Standing by with the victory flag. And why not? It's been a great performance. Young Azrid. Victory for India by six wickets. In the 46th over, a very good performance. Pakistan won the toss and batted. Were bowled out in 49.2 overs for 183. And in reply, India needed only 46 overs and four wickets to obtain a very good first up victory in this series, and Azruddin 
93 not out. Congratulations all round to him. A tremendous debut in Australia. Well, it looks as though we might have a star on our hands out here, and great it is to see as well. Mohamed Azruddin played really well out there in his first experience of Australian conditions, not to mention playing under lights for the very first time in this country. He may well have done so in matches in India, but this was a new experience for him, and he did play really well. The scorecard, 4 for 184, 93 to Mohamed Azruddin, and 54 to Sunil Gavaskar, and the bowling figures for Pakistan, only Imran Khan, was able to make an impression. They had all pace bowlers in there, 10 overs, one maiden, three for 27. So the points table in Group A. Now, Australia have two points and India two. England and Pakistan are the ones who have no points at all. And tomorrow's match at the Sydney Cricket Ground, weather permitting, is between West Indies and New Zealand. The game postponed from Tuesday. So that's the first game in Division B. Man of the match was Mohammad Azruddin for his super batting. Lovely stroke play there, and Australian audiences will certainly be looking forward to seeing much more of him. That's all from Nines Wide World of Sports. We look forward to having you with us tomorrow for the match West Indies and New Zealand. Good night.